So in this lesson, I'm just going to quickly uh, explain to you the equipment that I've got set up here so you can think about what you might need to, to run this project yourself. I would stress that you don't need any equipment to be able to do this. I have another solution, which I'll explain in the, the next lesson. But if you want to do what I'm doing, operate a real light, you'll need something like this. Uh, this is a light shark. Um, there's lots of different versions like this. I, I quite like this one. It comes in a two universe or a four universe version. So I've got two universes coming out of it. it takes Ethernet in. And what it's doing is it's listening to Artnet coming off of the computer. I can run this off anything. I've plugged it into this lighting desk. It will listen to Artnet coming out of the lighting desk, convert it into a physical DMX that's running on a 5-pin XLR. So that's what we ultimately need to get to get onto one of these lights. If you have a light that takes Artnet straight in, great, you don't need any of this. But this is a way of getting uh, DMX out of Unreal and converted into something that's running down the XLR. Uh, it costs about £250, I think. I can't remember exactly. It's a great little tool. It has a web interface, so I can configure it as an input or an output. I can set what universe it's uh, outputting on. So you may have noticed, if you've got very good eyes, I'm plugged into output 2, because I've got it set up as universe 0 and universe 1, because of lots of different reasons that can, we'll come to later. Um, so output one is my uh, output two is my universe one on these lights. So that's a nice bit of kit. You can get some much cheaper things. I have no idea if they work. Do some research. Find a way of getting Artnet or streaming ACN to convert into a five pin XLR. You'll need that to control your light. Um, this is a Mania SEX five hundred. It's a Martin product. It's fine. It's <laughs> not going to set the world on fire. It's not exactly you know, the mainstream of concert lighting, but it's a nice little moving mirror product, perfect for what we're doing today. It's only got five attributes we need to control, which is intensity, shutter, gobo, color, and then the pan and tilt commands. Uh, it's a three pin, so I've got some three pin to five pin adapters. The other thing I've got in this room is a LED part. This is a Philips Showline product. Uh, we don't make them anymore, um, even though we only bought it a few years ago. It just has an RGB set up. It's actually an RGBW fixture. It's got a white channel. Um, we're not going to use the white channel for the tutorials because it just confuses uh, the a lot of the controls and systems we're going to set up. So we're just thinking about RGB. Um, I've also got a network switch and lots of network cables to run everything around. Um, a decent PC with a 3090 graphics card, which is really helpful, but it doesn't matter if you don't have something that powerful. We're not using the rendering engine, so we're not going to be pushing that computer really hard. So that's about it really. I can't think of anything else that you need. Um, if you don't have any equipment and you still want to learn something from this lesson, don't worry. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you uh, a little tip for how you can still get something out of it.